We got a debut record coming out in May, and uh, we're going out to Austin and playing South by Southwest coming up. There's, there's a method to the madness. So. <clears throat> um, so you never really know when you're going to be yeah. what the music world needs or is desiring. So we're going to keep on the right, doing it right place until, at the right time. Yeah, hey. <laughs> until it kills me. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, I'm excited yeah. about what's to come because now that we've gotten that out, we're going to start playing that. I know we're going to really feel the need and desire to be writing yeah, more, more cohesive. So cohesively. Uh, yeah, we play in, said wineries and wine bars up and down the coast, and um, it's just been a really good. I can't, I can't stress enough how good it has been to play in a live situation because with the lights on or people watching you playing in a live situation, you, if you mess up, you mess up. And I think it's the best way to really hone your craft is to play live. Just keep playing live. That's, you know, you can play as long as you want in your bedroom, but until you have eyes on you and people are watching you, do you really get comfortable? And we feel completely comfortable on a stage. And I feel more comfortable there than I do. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Well, maybe with a beer in my hand, but. Yeah. <laughs> this is called Finally Fine. People feel good after they come to hear us, but they also feel like something powerful hit them. So I, you know, um, I think that that's that melancholy and uh, you know that happiness too. You know, just Everything feels so right if you buy my side. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm finally fine. I think I'm like one math class away from my general education. I just, it doesn't make sense to me. I couldn't, right out of high school, I was so glad to be done with school. It's like, okay, I dabbled for a few years trying to do general education, but just never made sense. I, I, I look at it as, I've had jobs. I've worked for Starbucks so many years. Uh, finally decided, done, I'm done with the day job. It's, I'm not really there, it's just, you know, it's helping pay for what I really want to be doing, and that's living a very creative artist life. Music, acting, those are the two things right now that employ me. Well, we never stood a chance, put up too good a fight, and we were outlaws on the run, like Bonnie and Clyde, and the whole damn world the same. Mountains to climb with our stolen hearts. We hold the perfect, perfect crime. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. We're finally fine. fine. It makes me so right. When you find my side, yeah, we're fine. And I think, I wholeheartedly believe if you have that backup plan, then that's where you will end up because you're mm -hmm. always in the back of your mind, oh, well, that'll save me. Yeah. And no, this is actually what saves me. I wake up, I get to sing. I wake up, I get to go do something very creative, and I get to explore myself through mm -hmm. the arts. And yeah. it, I know that, and I've known for a very long time that that is the one thing that I wanted to do with my life. And having that thought, I have trust in the universe that that's where I'm headed, and that's what's going to take care of me. So I got rid of my apartment, I got rid of my jobs. I am a gypsy that has a car and beautiful, amazing friendships that that let me hang out in their house. 
Okay. <laughs> Well, I am saying I am homeless in the best way that I'm not homeless <laughs> because I have people who let me stay in yeah. room, extra rooms that they have on couches and, and they let me invade their space with my creativeness and you know, we, we have fun, you know? We're finally fine, life is so divine, and it's about time, time, time. I know that myself, um, college graduate, came out of college, went into the corporate world, worked marketing at Sony Pictures, and had a really good, I, I saw myself climbing a little bit, but then I saw people coming in and they were just so tired of their lives, you know, you could see they just didn't want to be there, and I started not wanting to be there, and uh, saw that it just wasn't for me, you know, I, uh, I tried it. It came work. It became work, you know, and I just, well, work in a sense that this is work, but it's work that I enjoy every single day. Um, but more importantly, I think that I have the skill set to fall back on something, but I don't know what I would do. I honestly have, have told my wife, I've told you, I've told my parents, I don't know what I would do. I just don't want to do anything else. I don't, there's nothing else other than being, you know, a good friend, good husband and father and musician. There's, I, I spent enough time trying to find out what else I wanted to do and came I back know, to this. I came back to this every time. all these attachments that were were holding me back because I need to make enough money to pay for this. I need, oh my gosh, it was, now that I have literally let it go, let it drip, up, drip off my back, um, I feel freer than I've ever felt. That's what, two, that's what 2013 is for me, is mm -hmm. freedom. freedom. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Just happy to be here. Just happy to Thank be here. Thank you. Yeah. Waking me up early.